Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 7th. Uh, this week, make sure to check out astrojar.com right here for more YouTube readers and astrologers. But let's see what's coming in for you this week. Uh, definitely uh, some recovery. I think this came up for you last week or something. So if any of you have been sick or... Uh, you know, uh, have been injured or anything like that. A lot of you could be seeing some sort of recovery. Also looks like a good love week for a lot of you as well. And definitely a lot of future um, stuff coming up here too. You have uh, you have all three of the uh, club's court cards, which is, um, you know, pretty significant about looking towards the future, planning for the future and things like that, and also having a lot of good ideas. But again, you start with the four spades, card of recovery, card of recovering from issues and things like that. And um, also, uh, well, I'll also say, again, I'm not a doctor, so please do not take this as medical advice. There's your disclaimer. Um, this is a card sometimes of maybe if you wanted to get getting a second opinion and things like that again i'm not a doctor so i don't know but um you know if you wanted to get a second opinion on something or something like that it would probably be a good idea also if you're involved in anything legal as well it's another card of of possibly getting a second opinion i would just say actually you know because even i'm getting a picture of a car in my head right now so if any of you are having car issues or something like that and you brought it to a mechanic you might want to get a second opinion on that as well so anything where you could get a second opinion, it might be a good idea for you this week to, to go ahead and do that, especially if it doesn't feel right. Like, again, the car thing is standing out in my head right now. So, again, if you've had car problems or something and you brought it to a mechanic and it just doesn't feel right, I would say take it to somebody else. Um, you know, I, I think that in general, four spades can be a car, can be a card of second opinion. So um, I, I think it would be a good week for a lot of you to do that. Uh, next, you have the lover's card coming up. To me, the lover's card, it, it, it can be a good love card. So again, a lot of you could have love coming in or your relationship that you're already in could be getting stronger. But to me, this is also a card of just mostly having a choice to make. I actually, you know, again, I, I actually don't read this card as a love card. I read it as a card of needing to make a decision on something uh, somewhere. And when it comes up upright, it does say that you are making a decision this week. You will be making a choice between like two things. And uh, like I said, it is to me a positive card here about making this uh, choice between two things. Uh, I actually think with all these clubs cards here as well, a friend or somebody you're very close with could be coming in to kind of like help you make a decision on something. Then and they could offer you a lot of advice. Again, you have three of the you have all three of the court um, cards, clubs cards. Those cards represent friendships. They represent advice. And uh, they represent honesty as well. So again, if you're trying to make a decision on something, maybe going to some of your friends or something, they'll be able to be very honest and very open with you. And, and they'll be able to uh, kind of lead you in the right direction. Next, you have the uh, King of Clubs. Again, thinking about the future, planning future, um, and uh, also friends. And, uh, you know, this is considered like the most honest card in the deck and things. So, again, a lot of you could have some uh, somebody who's very honest with you. This could also be a mentor or a mentor coming in for you. I'm also getting that uh, if you are in business or you have a business or, or something, a lot of you could be gaining a mentor in one of those areas that could be very um, helpful for you as well. Um, I'm also getting, for those of you who are uh, younger, if you are um, feeling like you are stuck this week or something, um, that uh, you will have a lot of support from your family. It feels distinctly like family, so don't worry too much if some of you, I just get this feeling that some of you who are younger, again, nothing against you, you uh, more mature people out there, but um, for so, those of you that are younger, I feel like a lot of you could have like a challenge this week. Um, not, and again, not in a bad way, but it, mostly just like you freaking out, maybe, you know, just panicking a little bit about something. But actually, I think it'll be cleared up very quickly with family. Um, but this is also a great card for bosses and it's a great card for dealing with management in general. So, um, you know, if any of you want to ask for a raise or something like that, I would say now, actually, this week would be great. Again, with all three of these cards, I think it would be a great week to talk to management or talk to the people above you and things like that. Next, you have the Six of Clubs. Great card of growth and a great card of learning. Um, so, again, um, well, you know, I'll, I'll say that 2016 and 2017 are definitely years to be learning. And I, and I said that in the 2016 readings that uh, came up for 
um, pretty much everybody that uh, 2016 would be a great year for learning and learning new things. So if you have any opportunities to go to classes or go to trainings or extra trainings and things, a, a lot of that could be very beneficial to a lot of you. But it's also just the card of success. It says that more success and things are coming in um, for a lot of you. And, uh, and maybe even this week you could be seeing some things kind of kind of growing almost uh, that are going to lead to more success for you but definitely learn under this card if you can next you have a queen of clubs again a very honest friend or something like that coming to you usually somebody in authority um, coming to you and helping you out as well don't get too caught up on the, you know the fact that this is a queen it could be a male or a female same with that king of clubs you know I, th I think that a lot of you could be dealing with just maybe management this week like at work or something and even if you don't work um, even if you're tired or something, again, this would just be friends coming to you, offering you advice, um, looking to help you out. Um, uh, but a very social card as well. I think this week would be a great week for a lot of you to socialize and to network, especially with all these cards. Even though it's only three clubs cards, you know, three court cards, it's that's more than three people. That, you know, that could be a bunch of people and things like that. So I think it would be a great week to network and meet people and all this other stuff. And you end with the Jack of Clubs. Very good card for mostly looking into the future and, and things like that. Also a card, uh, it's interesting because I think I just said this to Cancer. I think it was Cancer that I said it to. Uh, probably a great week to only listen to yourself uh, at, at the same time. Take advice from your friends. But if you... um have it very specifically if you have an idea for the future sometimes people can't see it you know so um, they don't feel so good about it and they might share that with you so just be careful of that type of advice I again at the risk of confusing everybody I think it's a great week to take advice from friends but again if you're thinking about the future and you have in and, and, you know they kind of look at it and say eh, you know that idea is not so great just be careful of that type of advice. But all other advice is, is good for you this week. But looks like a very interesting week, actually. I, I have nothing else to say about it. I think it's just interesting. So thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.